our police. It's not only Sasso. There are so many policemen out there, mm. even as we speak, who are still uh, terrorists, so to, so to, so to <laughs> say. Now, you know, after the NSAS riot, it, it was like, okay, the police was cowed a, a bit. But we've seen police, policemen misbehave. Thank God they are disgracing them now. You know, those that misbehave, they disgrace them in the public. But all of these are just, for me, they are just like palliative measures. It's just like um, you are patching. There, there needs to be a, a, a total reformation of the police. For example, stop even the name. Should be, the force in the name should be replaced with service. <laughs> but yes, because it's not, a, it's not supposed to be a force. That force may have a way of psychologically affecting them. Now, they should be taught that the gun they hold in their hands is for the protection of the citizens, not for unleashing terror. They should also be taught, told that they, their uniform is not a leeway for them to extort people. You know, some of us have had experience with the police. Mm -hmm. I, I remember uh, not too long ago, uh, a relative of mine was missing. And I went to one of the police stations. One of the first things they told us was that we should uh, drop our phones outside as if we're going to see a governor, you know, where you have to record <laughs> drop them. your phone. Record. And then what, what do you call the, the, the person at the counter? Is this CRO they call? <laughs> money. So I was asking for money. We were trying to report a missing person. And then when an IPO was... Uh, was appointed. That people was asked, we don't have money for fire. We need money for fire. We need money for signal. We need money for this. I, I was the one that had to transport her, you know, to the place where she would make investigation. All sorts of things. This is not the kind of police we are proud of. So, beyond compensating people, <sighs> no matter how much you compensate people, those who are dead are dead. And I'm, I'm, I am sure there are people who have not recovered from the trauma mm of the loss of their loved ones. How do you, are you going to bring uh, the man, the, 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 the husband of the widow, who is, the man who is dead, are you going to bring him back? Are you going to bring back his children? What about those ones that were in school, whose lives were cut short by the police, by tr trigger happy policemen? Seriously, we need to reform the police in this country. We need to reform the police in this country. But well, it seems to me that when people wear a uh, black uniform, they become another, they become, Monsters. All right, Tassikian, how do you think this will help deepen uh, respect for human rights in Nigeria? It will go a long way. Um, I'm so happy that um, some of these people are being compensated. We, uh, we saw the recommendation of the pro panel that happened in Lagos and the recommendations. Mm -hmm. My fear is that most of those recommendations, have they, have they been implemented? I've not had anything since that one. I'm talking of that of Lagos. Mm. Good enough is having Abuja and some compensation. What of other states too? Because NSAS was not a Lagos Abuja affair. The other pro panels within the state have also have they done the needful. NSAS wasn't about just police. Mortality. We should get that clear. NSAS wasn't about police. We just needed that police issue to trigger something in Nigeria that had been born over. Even though that we are fighting for answers, we are also fighting for the benefits, for the welfare of the oh, policemen, too. Mm -hmm. That we wasn't like, they were saying yeah. that improved this. And I think we, in as much as we know that our police has not been what we wanted it to be, we should also cut them some slacks, for goodness sake. Sincerely, mm -hmm. yes. Ask for budgetary allocation to Nigerian police. Go and look at where they are living. It's very close. We are very close. Go to Ikeja, go to Ikeja here, just by under that bridge, opposite uh, <laughs> Lasut. Go and see where they are living. All right, so is there a law that says they cannot demand for more? They can demand for more if they are not given. Go and check the budgetary allocation of police compared to other security agencies, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the rest of And also know that by the provision of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, it is the primary responsibility of the Nigerian police to take care of domestic, internal security. It's not that of the army. Mm -hmm. Yes, most people don't know that. Yeah. It's because of the issues we're having now with terrorism and the rest of that. That is why we are bringing army mm -hmm. from their primary responsibilities. So I think that we should be, what we should be talking about, issue of welfare, training, and making sure that the police, is it only, with, 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 trying to be uh, at least, let me, 
In US, the US police keep people. You forgot what happened? Black, uh, Black Life Matters. Life's mm. matter. You remember vividly. I think that what we should be conversing now for the Nigerian police, although there have been an improvement. In fact, I was, a few days ago, the IG came out that nobody should pay money for, uh, for bail. Anybody that pay for bail, that they would. But they've been that saying that for now. In as much as, there was somebody that was arrested for a civil offense in this Lagos. And I, CK, I went to bail the person. They did not allow me to bail the person until I paid 50,000 naira. <laughs> I can take that up with anybody. Anybody that says a lie, I will take the person to the to the police. So what am I saying? But tomorrow, you see the when you see what the, these guys are going to, DPO does not have. If you see what they allocate to a station for fuel in a day, that's what we are talking about. Hey, I pay for this. I pay. They don't have their location and they have to do their job. But the question you ask yourself is: It the citizens that are supposed to pay for them? because we are already paying tax, mm -hmm. which they are using to, for supposed to use to support. What we should be asking for is that federal government should do the needful. Okay. Let them try as much as possible and make sure the allocation to the police. The, All right, the PCG chairman just, re, uh, just, just resigned mm. two days ago. All right, we have um, Hazan from Kaduna. Hello, Hazan. Good evening, Hazan. All right. Hello, Hazan, are you there? All right, gentlemen, uh, looking at all these issues you have raised, and it's sad that two years yeah, later... Yeah, hello, good afternoon, All right, gentlemen. please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, can you hear me? Good evening, go ahead, please. Yeah, um, I just want to contribute on the issue of ASU and the strike. All right. Please go ahead, Azan. Um, you know, you know, most of our leaders benefited... One of the gentlemen, most of the leaders benefited from full education. Mm -hmm. And... Education, once you are educated, I think once you are educated, I think you have solved 90% of your problem. An educated mind is an enlightened mind. The, the elites know that once they, once they give the citizens education, they will not have a way to manipulate us. That's why they are doing what they are doing. Right. Because thank you very education, much, you cannot be manipu uh, uh, manipulated thank you very much. easily. Uh, thank thank you. You. Now, before the caller came in, we were talking about so many issues in the mm -hmm. Nigerian force, mm -hmm. and it's sad that two years after, uh, we still have overzealous uh, police officers out there. Yeah. How do we ensure sanity in that system? The police, uh, there's the police system, you mean. We need to start from the training, uh, the recruitment. Who are the kind of people we are recruiting? We need to probably revisit the, the, the requirements, you know, the, uh, yeah, the conditions for joining the force. Apart from that, he spoke so much about the welfare of the police, and I agree with him. Honestly, I agree with everything he said. You know, the police is not even. You go to some of the, go to even go to the. When I went to the headquarters, I see files, oh. dirty files, and all, all, all of that. You know, police cannot fuel uh, their, their vehicles. Sometimes also, in fact, some of these police will even buy. They buy their uniform. Mm. They do now. You understand? They buy their not. shoes and yeah. all of that. They do. Now those people now. What they will do is, since they are affected, they cannot, they cannot, what they do is they now, the tendency is there for them to now unleash terror on the man who does not hold mm. a gun. Mm. 